we could prevent you know tens of thousands of cancer deaths every year if half of the country ate a single more serving of fruits and vegetables, which like twenty thousand prevent twenty thousand cancer deaths a year. That's how powerful plants are. People don't understand. Whole food plant-based diet is more powerful than anything we have in medicine when it comes to some of these chronic diseases. An ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure because there is no cure for dead. I've never seen anything come close to the breadth and depth of benefits that a plant-based diet provides. I mean, we literally have patients crying tears of joy in our office because they feel so much better. Nobody cried tears of joy you know, when I write them a prescription for a cholesterol-lowering medication. As an orthopedic surgeon, I think it's really tragic what the standard American diet does to the body. And I've asked the Eating You Alive crew to come in and document surgery. I deal with inflammation all the time in my patients and the standard American diet feeds that inflammation. And so you can turn off the inflammation if you go to a whole food, plant-based diet, and you can reverse the degeneration that occurs in our bodies as we age. We have about 60,000 miles of blood vessels in our body. So it's no wonder that when we eat more healthfully, it's good for literally every square millimeter of us. And as a point of reference, the circumference of the Earth is about 24,000 miles. I dropped my blood pressure from about 128 to 95. And as well, my total cholesterol went from 206 to 130. And my bad cholesterol dropped from 106 to 70. There's no medication that we use that can achieve that. This was in four weeks. So that really encouraged me to keep following a plant-based diet. I think people are moving away from processed foods. There is growing awareness about the health benefits of a whole foods plant-based diet. So even if you come upon veganism through the animal rights angle or the environmental aspects of veganism, eventually you get to a point where you don't feel so good eating a lot of triple-decker donut sandwiches. Um, and you want to eat more of a whole foods plant-based diet. So everyone eventually gets to that point, I think. One of the two true loves in my life is my dog, Sophie. Well, about a month ago, she had a arthritis in the middle of her back. When I brought her in, the veterinarian looks at me and says, what do you feed your dog? And I looked at him and I said, wow, that's interesting. You ask me that every single time when I see you, and my doctor of 30 plus years has never once asked me that question. So I wake up every morning tormented because today thousands of people are having bypass surgery. Tens of thousands of people are getting medication for the very first time, and most of them don't need it. I'm an uh, avid runner and bike rider, and I've seen many of the people that are about my age and are built like me that are active runners and riders who end up with heart problems. And it kind of drove home a point to me that you can't out-exercise a bad diet. I read the China study and, and that was just, it was overwhelming and I'm, I just told myself, well, there's so much evidence in this. There's, I'm literally doing so much harm to my body by consuming animal product. Now I'm a big supporter of being a plant-based athlete because I always feel good every single day. I was terrified at first. I was like, okay, I want to be healthy, but I don't know what's going to happen. And in reality, it was not a problem at all. If anything, my performance improved. You know, I definitely was training hard. My energy was great. Um, my recovery actually noticeably improved. Like I was not getting as sore. I was able to work out more often. I was actually doing really hard workouts twice a day for a while, which I never would have been able to do before. That would have wrecked me. Standing in front of you, it's obviously not a hindrance in bodybuilding to eat whole food plant-based. You spend three months, you change your lifestyle, and all of a sudden, that same amount of willpower accomplishes a lot more. My children used to say, you know, come on upstairs, Daddy, I want to, you want to show you something? And I would take a deep breath and I would go, you know, my children are 9 and 10, I'm an old dad, I won't have them around that much, I'm going to look forward to this when they're teenagers and don't care about me, I really want this, I, I want to go upstairs, I want to run up the stairs, and I want to get up with them, and I want to go up the stairs and play with them, and I'm going to do that, because I really want to do that, it's really important, i got to do that, and here I go, and we'll be standing up. But now, I just stand up! I had no idea that learning what was going to fix his health problems would change our life completely because that's what I learned about what the animals went through. 
the suffering they went through. I know some people refer to vegan as the ethical part and plant-based is for health, but for me it's both. Switch to eating plants. It's a healthy solution. You're going to feel better. You're going to live longer. You'll have more sex drive. You know, your, your life completely changes. And at the same time, you've just cut your carbon footprint by two-thirds. Ultimately, it doesn't matter why you do it because it's a win-win-win all the way across the board.